this is the DC shunt resistance example. The shunt allows the measurement of the current values which are too large to be directly measured by an ammeter. So essentially the shunt is a resistance with accurately known resistance. It is placed in parallel with voltmeter and in order not to disrupt the circuit the resistance of the shunt is normally very small and the voltage drop across the shunt across these terminals is proportional to the current flowing through the shunt and since the resistance of the shunt is known the voltmeter connected to these terminals can be scaled to directly display the current value now these large holes are used to connect the bus bar and these small holes are used to connect the voltmeter Our task is to calculate the voltage drop so we can calibrate the voltmeter. The shunt is made of copper and it is designed to carry the current of 100 amperes. Again, I will start quick field. This is our new quick field 6.3, and I will create the new j problem, which is shunt. I would like to calculate the DC current distribution so the problem type is DC conduction and the model class is PD import again to speed up I will not draw the geometry model in quick field I will import it so I will import the step file Here is the step file. Now this is the geometry model. Again here I should assign labels to each object. This body is copper. Here I type in the label. Here at the bottom is the bus bar is connected, so this, this is phase 1 and this is phase 2, where another bus bar is connected. Here are the place where the voltmeter terminals will be connected so this will be this will be the ground terminal and this will be unknown voltage terminal and our task is to collate the voltage drop on these terminals between these terminals Now I will specify the physical properties for objects and for the boundaries. For the copper I specify the electric conductivity, which is 56 times 10 to the power of 6 Siemens 
per meter. For the phase one, I will specify the current. I know the current is 100 ampere, but you see there is no, no way to specify total current. Instead, I can specify the current density. The current density is simply the current divided by the surface area. Now the surface area is this value. So for the phase one, I specify the current density, which is current divided by the surface area. The current flows in here and the flows out at the phase two. So at the phase two, I specify the same current with negative sign and the area is the same and for the ground I specify zero electric potential for the ground terminal now I should build the finite element mesh Save all the simulation files and run the analysis. Now, to save time, I will show you already calculated results. Here you can see the electric potential distribution. Now we know that this plate has zero electric potential and I would like to know the electric potential of this plate so I will use the probing tool and click here now the electric potential oh sorry this 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 one has zero electric potential And the right one has the electric potential of minus 2.17 millivolts. So for this specific shunt, you can uh, specify that the current, the allowed current is 100 ampere and the voltage drop on the terminals will be 2.17 milliamperes. Now what is new in quick field 6.3? With quick field 6.3 you can calculate surface integral. For example, I will create the cross section open the two-dimensional section window and here I will calculate the integral so the integral is 100 ampere exactly as we specified another new feature is that you can make the integration contour here in two-dimensional section And you can take a look at the various distribution along this contour. So here is the contour I made. And I will open the XY plot. This is the voltage distribution along this contour. This is the current density distribution along this contour. And you can also take a look at the t 
table which contains the same value the coordinates the voltage the electric field strength and the current density distribution along the contour you can adjust in the table the which columns to display and you can adjust the number of rows All the data you can copy to the Excel file. And make the plot here. Well, to make the plot... This is the current distribution. Another new feature of QuickField 6.3 is that you can calculate surface integral in 3-dimensional. For example, if I click this surface, I again can calculate the electric current. Here is the current. And you can also make plots and take a look at the tables in three-dimensional. If I select, for example, this edge, I can take a look at the plot and find I in the current density distribution. And again, I can see the table that contains the physical values distribution.